Hello everyone, this is Richard with the Modern Healthspan newsletter. First, a disclaimer. In this newsletter series, we will share the latest research studies, news and events in the Healthspan field that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. First, we would like to give a shout out to our supporters who are very generous to buy us some coffees. It encourages us to continue to share information on ageing research. Thank you so much for your support. Here is our first paper for today, which is looking at how NMN helps to combat dry eyes. Hyperosmotic stress, or HS, refers to having too much salt in your tears, which is causing dry eye disease. NMN has shown protective effects in the corneal damage, in this case of HS, but the mechanism is not clear. This was an in vitro study with corneal epithelial cells placed in a salt solution. They then looked at the effects of NMN on NAD+, and looked for the expression of hyperosmotic biomarker TON EBP. If we look at the results, the NMN increased the NAD+, concentration, which improved cell viability, reduced apoptosis, that is cell death, and decreased the release of lactose dehydrogenase, a marker of cell damage. There were a number of other benefits from the NMN including increased SIRT1 activation and reducing the cell destruction activities of macrophages. It details in the paper switching the macrophages from M1 state, which kill cells, to M2, which heals them. In their conclusion, they say that NMN could alleviate HS-induced dry eyes by regulating the macrophage interaction and propose that it could be used to help manage dry eyes, perhaps in the form of eye drops. Another interesting use of NMN, as dry eyes is a common complaint for older people. Our second paper is looking at how NAD can help postpone senescence in marrow-derived mesenchymal stem cells via SIRT1 signaling. But first, what are mesenchymal stem cells? They are a type of stem cell that retains the ability to differentiate into many types, though not all types of tissue. As we see here, fat, muscle, bone, liver, etc. They are therefore a key resource to keeping our bodies well and in stem cell therapy. Cell senescence is accompanied by decreased NAD. However, whether exogenous NAD would affect the senescence of bone marrow-derived mesenchymal stem cells was unknown. In the study, the authors showed that exogenous NAD did help postpone senescence in BMSC when induced through D-galactose. The D-galactose causes senescence by increasing the presence of ROS, or reactive oxygen species. It also showed that the exogenous NAD got into the cell and reduced the ROS. They saw that the senescence was reduced by SIRT1 activation, as well as a couple of other mechanisms. The trial was mostly looking at the stability of BMSCs in the lab to support research and for clinical applications. Mesenchymal stem cells could be a resource for rejuvenation or regenerative medicine, so it is useful to develop a way to postpone their senescence. The third paper looks at how caffeine lengthens telomeres by promoting telomerase. As it says, telomere shortening is one of the main causes for cellular senescence, as they shorten with each cell division, and when they get too short, cells can no longer divide. The authors found that caffeine promoted the expression of telomerase reverse transcriptase, or TERT, which extends the telomere length and prevents cellular senescence. If they removed TERT, the effect went away. As a note, reverse transcription is when RNA is used to build DNA. It is called reverse transcription as transcription normally goes the other way, with DNA being used as the template to build RNA. In this case, the RNA is being used to build telomeres at the end of the chromosomes. The authors showed that chronic caffeine usage extended telomere length in the thymus and the spleen of mice and improved the cell structure in these organs as well as the liver. The results suggest that caffeine helps delay cellular senescence by extending the telomeres. So I am certainly happy about this and will continue with my coffee and green tea. And now our final paper extreme autotomy and the whole body regeneration in photosynthetic sea slugs. Autotomy is the casting off of a body part, usually when under threat, such as a lizard discarding its tail, and this is generally followed by the regeneration of the body part. In the study, the authors identified a new extreme autotomy in two species of sea slug. The slug sheds the whole of its body, including the heart, and regenerates a new one though the discarded body did not grow a new head. 
The slugs incorporate chloroplasts from algae in their cells which seem to be used for photosynthesis. The researchers propose that this may be where the slug gets energy from after losing the ability to digest food until the body is regenerated. Here we see the original state when the body is detached on day 0, then on day 7, day 14 and day 22 where the body is completely regenerated. This image shows where the body is, has been discarded from. Interestingly, it takes several hours for the slug to discard the body, which would not be effective to avoid a predator. The researchers instead propose that it may happen because the body has been infected with the parasite pictured here, which affects the, the slug's ability to reproduce. This way the slug can generate a new, parasite-free body. Not directly related to anti-aging, but fascinating to see what biology is capable of, and perhaps has something to show us in regenerative medicine. And now for our event corner. The lymphatic system in our body makes up over 500 individual lymph nodes, which play a critical role in the immune system, hormone and gut health. From April 19th to 25th, there is a free online event, Lymphatic Rescue Summit. The topics include the critical role and function of the lymphatic system for health, and simple approaches to transform your lymphatic health. The register link is in the description. Our next event is a free five-day challenge online program, Conquer Your Autoimmune Condition, from March the 29th to April the 2nd, presented by Dr. Terry Walls. We have interviewed Dr. Walls earlier for a Creating Health series in which she described how she used diet to reverse her MS. During this five-day challenge, you will get daily training, inspiration and motivation from Dr. Walls. If you followed us earlier, you may know my wife has food intolerances which cause her to have skin rashes. She is excited to know about this event and is very much looking forward to it. You can find both Dr. Terry Walls' interview, playlist link and the registration link for this five-day event in the description. So before we finish, a quick quiz for you. Can you guess who this is? Give you one more hint. This is one of the greatest scientists of all time who will have his birthday this Sunday. So this is the answer, Albert Einstein. Here is a tweet from the Nobel Prize organization. This marks the 100th anniversary of Albert Einstein's Nobel Prize in 1921. So we wish Dr. Einstein a happy birthday. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you found the Modern Healthspan newsletter informative. As we find more interesting research and longevity news, we will release our next newsletter please stay tuned. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for new video release notifications. It encourages us to continue to create more videos about anti-aging and extending healthy lifespan. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.